In early agricultural society, most people living in the country kept some goats. Whenever we were hit by a cold spell and it got freezing cold, people with goats would feel like eating them for nourishment to dispel the cold. Taking tonics for the winter. Yes, to dispel the cold. Taking winter tonics to ward against the cold. Our smoked goat is very effective in providing nourishment for protection from cold. Isn't it said we should plow in spring, weed in summer, harvest in autumn, then store in winter? We must nurture and build up our strength over the winter to see us through the coming year. That is, to build stamina needed for physical activities the following year. We need to conserve our energy through the winter. So, we need to eat tonic foods over the winter for nourishment. The first step in the making of sesame oil is stir-frying. Next is steaming. Why is steaming necessary? It defines the quality of the oil. If steamed too long, the excess moisture will elevate acidity. Why do we burn firewood? Because the carbonated scent of the firewood will impart a taste of the past. What kind of wood do you use? Lychee, longan, such as this log here. Why do you choose these two types of wood? They are harder wood than normal and more fragrant when they burn. Any other types of firewood just won't do? They just lack aroma. Don't underestimate wood. This piece of wood weighs a ton. 1,000 kilograms is priced at over 2,000 NT. It's actually quite expensive. Quite expensive, even more so than cooking gas. And it burns faster than gas, too. Is this the last step? It's the last step, and also the most time-consuming one. What do you call this step? Pressing. Pressing the oil? Yes. Is it a hydraulic press? Yes, it's hydraulic-based. And before that? Manual labor. Manually? Imagine a screw of this size. The lever principle? No, these packed sesame discs were manually screwed in. As a fixed proportion, you can get 40% of sesame oil out of the seeds manually. But machines nowadays can stretch the production quantity up to 50%. I've even heard of it reaching as far as 55%. But with a traditional method like ours, only 40% can be achieved. That's to be expected. It can't be helped because there's a limit to our strength. Our business usually thrives around winter solstice. Before and after the arrival of winter? Yes, around the time of winter solstice when the weather gets cold. It can begin to get chilly around that time, so people sometimes feel like having some hot soup and eating tonic foods. Some dishes with Chinese medicinal herbs are most beneficial when eaten in winter. Around winter solstice will be the best time. How many visits have you made to this place? I've lost count. Have you now? We often come here to eat. This is where we like to have our meals after going for a ride. The colder it gets, the more you'll come. That's it. The colder the weather, 
the more this food hits the spot. It's affordable, and the aroma of Angelica is very rich. What is your least favorite part in preparing Angelica duck stew? Just what I'm doing right now. Removing the feathers? Yes, plucking. Is this duck you're using different from the red-faced Muscovy duck? Yes, it's different. What type of duck do you normally use? It's meat duck that we use. Meat duck? This white-colored kind? Yes, the white color kind. Some more traditional restaurants would use female ducks. Why do you put the duck into cold water straight away? This cools down the meat quickly, causing it to contract instantly. When the meat contracts, the duck won't go on cooking. There will still be several hours of stewing after this. I was never impressed with duck meat. It always seemed too dry and too tough. But duck meat at this restaurant is tender enough to pull apart. It's well cooked through, so the flavor of Angelica has permeated through the meat. Unlike some duck or goose meat I've had that seem to be all bones however you eat it, you can't get at the meat even though you can see it. In terms of taking tonics, as soon as the weather turns cold, almost everyone will feel like having some tonic foods. So tonic foods in Taiwan come in all shapes and varieties. These include sesame oil chicken, soup of 10 tonic herbs, ginger duck stew, and so on. As far as Angelica duck stew goes, the way we do it here in Jiayi County is rather different. What's unique about our version is that we serve the duck meat in one piece rather than in slices. Did your dad ever beat you or tell you off while making sesame oil? No. He couldn't bear to. Oh, yes, he could sometimes. I'd get beaten if I didn't do well on exams. So he would. Perhaps he valued exams more than making sesame oil. Your mom is a master at cooking with sesame oil, isn't she? Yeah, she's really quite amazing. I haven't tasted dishes made with sesame oil that can compare with hers. Never tasted better? Not yet. What dishes with sesame oil does your mom make? Three cup chicken, sesame oil chicken, she can beat a lot of people hands down with just these two dishes. And her sesame oil rice cakes. All the winter tonics seem to use sesame oil to stir-fry old ginger, right? Yes. Since pure sesame oil is cold in nature, it needs to be stir-fried with ginger. The two of them happen to complement each other. Correct. Sesame oil on its own would be too cold. I see. To enhance the heat properties, we simply add wine to the dish. Eating healthy and taking tonics are two different things. Adding ginger itself is healthy eating. Stir-frying ginger and sesame oil is healthy, but not exactly nourishing. So sesame oil alone won't do very much? It won't have much benefit. You use sesame oil to stir-fry ginger slices? Adding in rice wine. And rice wine. Yes. Together they will bring about tonic properties and generate heat. Of the entire process, portioning the duck has taken me the longest to master. At times you think you've cut the meat into portions that are just right. But then they will shrink so much after stewing and end up very uneven in sizes. So you need to pay full attention when you're cutting up the duck. Yes, when you're cutting, you need to be able to gauge the right amount. 
Well, what is this you're putting in? This is the herbal mixture for making the stock. Is it your family's unique recipe? Yes. Is the liquid from the blanching ducks used as the stock? Yes, it's used directly as the stock. How long will the duck be stewed for like this? About another four to five hours. So every day you start preparation at the crack of dawn? Yes, our staff start working as early as three o'clock in the morning. The day begins by gutting until we finish blanching all the ducks. We actually work very long hours. At what time do you open up? We open for business from 3.30 in the afternoon. Why? Because it'll take at least five to six hours from the time these ducks start to stew until they're ready. Time-wise, it's a rather long process. Sometimes we have customers who want to come at lunchtime. We'll tell them, sorry, but our ducks have to be cooked until the afternoon for the flavor to be absorbed and taste good. Every day when the stew is made and before selling, the first sip of broth is sampled by me. How many years have you been tasting this broth? Uh, Forty-some years. Well, no, I mean, we've been in business for over 40 years, but I've been tasting the broth since I was a child. Since then till now? Yes. I heard that your family owns a secret recipe. Yes, it was passed down by my paternal great-granddad. He was a practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine. That's why I left behind some recipes using herbal medicine. It can be seen as the wisdom of our ancestors. His recipes are well formulated and balanced. This book of recipes was later studied by my dad. He has since tweaked the ratio of herbal mixture to suit the taste of people nowadays. How long has this been stewing for? This pot has been stewing for almost six hours. Six hours? Since this morning? Yes, it's been stewing since this morning. This whole room is filled with the scent of Angelica. Yes. How does it taste? Very good. You always have the first sip of the day before selling? I always have to take the first sip of broth to make sure the taste is spot on.